Every man's dream is to see his or her business grow. Overeating from the business is so dangerous for the business. If you have a dream so that this business can give birth to other businesses, then you should not eat too much from the business. The time that you're going to waste, that's the money that you're going to waste. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Unique. On this channel, we do talk about business, on how to create new ideas and on how to transform a business. If you are looking for any channel which will give you ideas and which will give you uh, messages on how to transform your business, please, please, this is your channel. Consider yourself subscribing to the channel and make sure you like the video. That's the only support that I can ask from you. Today I'm having a simple message. It may look simple, but it will help our lives and it will help our businesses. You know, every man's dream, every woman's dream who is having a business is to see his or her business growing. If you are not seeing your business to grow, then which means there is something wrong with your business. Right now, I'm here to tell you that, do you know that overeating from the business is so dangerous for the business? Overeating from the business, it will make your business not to grow. If you have a dream to grow your business, if you have a dream so that this business can give birth to other businesses, then you should not eat too much from the business. Overeating is not just bad for the body, but it is also bad for the business. I've come to understand this and I have observed some people. They just have little money, they just have two businesses or one businesses, but the way they act, you find them in different shopping malls each and every Sunday. You find them driving nice cars. You find them borrowing a lot of things. You finding them eating too much those junk foods or let me say those fast food. It is good to have a business which you care so much because when you are caring that business, you never get a lot of money from the business. As I told you, what is the main aim of your business? Do you want your business to grow? As for me, my business is still small and my prayer is to see this business grow and give birth to other businesses. So what I do is I do follow everything, everything that I do know to say, okay, this today I'll follow this. For me to grow this business, I'll introduce this good. For me to, to grow this business, I'll save this. For me to grow this business, I need to do this and that. I do follow that. But the problem that I've come to identify from me and for the other people is that as for me, I do take a lot of things from the shop. I do eat too much from the shop, which is killing my business. One thing that I do is each and every time when I buy things, whenever I see that I love this drink, then I need to drink it. Uh, I can drink a certain drink, maybe four or five bottles. Now, there was a time where I realized to say, what I'm doing is so bad. It is not helping the business. Because I got my calculator and I started counting how much am I selling the same drink and how much am I spending. And I found that I'm even eating too much or drinking too much, which is above the profit that I'm earning in the business. So eating is an habit that you need to stop. Eating is an habit which never gives you anything in return. 
The only thing which gives you is that eating will just give you the, the worst part, you know? And that's the fact. When you eat, where are those things? Where are they going? From the, so they are going to the sower. That's true. Because they are wastes. You need to throw them. The body needs to throw those. They are unnecessary. But you can avoid or we can avoid eating too much from the business if we want to improve our businesses. Because when you calculate how much per day are you spending per day, are you eating from the shop? How much are you getting? Yes, quite all right, you may say, I do make this profit. But imagine that profit that you do make. And imagine the amount of money that you are spending just for eating. If you really count that money, you save it. How much are you going to have at the end of the month? If we want to build our businesses, let's stop spending money too much. If we want to grow our businesses, let's avoid those luxury prices where we go and eat food. You get your girlfriend or you go with your girlfriend into luxury uh, prices. How much are you going to spend that time? How much are you going to spend that side? A lot of money. A lot. Every weekend. Yes, I, I'm not denying there is time to feel good, but it's not every weekend. And it's not every day. You need to have a specific day. In one month, maybe you just go for those places in one. Once. You just visit that place once. Not every Saturday, not every Sunday, not every weekend. Because if you count the money that you're spending every weekend, that is a lot of money. But if you were to use the same money that you're eating to put in the business, and it will make a difference, and it will give you another profit, and your business will never be on the same level once again, so, eating too much, it is unhealthy for the business. Getting a lot of money from the business just because you want to eat, it will make your business to go down. You need to concentrate on one thing. Let me say, let's sacrifice our body so that we can grow our business. Be stingy to your body. Be stingy to the things that you want. Be stingy to the things that the body really wants to eat. I'm telling you, if you just mentor the body and you to follow that, because this body, it is something like, let me say, it's automatic. What you feed it each and every day, if it becomes regularly, then which means it will follow that. Why is it that each and every day in the morning around 6 a.m. we need to have breakfast or around 12 p.m. we need to have to have lunch time? Why is it like that? It's because of our minds. But you can have lunch time at any time. You can have breakfast at any time. You can have supper at any time. So guys, my main message today is that let's not over spending through eating in our businesses. We are too small. We are very small. We are not yet big. If you really want to see your business grow, please do this. You know, there is a big difference. There are people who have already made it. And there are people like us who are still coming up. And people like us who are still coming up. 
we don't need to fall in the same shoe with those people who have already made it. Because those they are having huge money and us, we are still on the low part. We are not having some huge money. We are still young in the business. We are still babies. We are still learning on how to handle things. So why are we going to imitate? Or why are we going to follow them? Do what they do. Drive what they drive. Eat what they eat. No, you need to stop something. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you really loved the video, please kindly subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification button for you to get all my latest videos. I'm out.